What up y'all, back in the grocery store. I know you guys enjoy these videos, so we're bringing it back with 10 foods to help you succeed in your diet and help you lose weight. So first thing, disclaimer, we don't believe in magic foods. I'm not saying you need to eat these 10 foods to be successful or you're gonna fail. We're big believers in flexible dieting. So as long as you're hitting your macros, your macros are proteins, fats, carbs, and total calories, you're gonna succeed. However, these will make it easier, right? So there's factors outside of just hitting those numbers. If I'm eating donuts for all my calories and protein powder, I'm gonna get sick of my food, I'm not gonna enjoy it, and I'm just not gonna be able to succeed. And at the end of the night, when I want a snack, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that's what we're gonna to try to avoid. And these 10 power foods are gonna make your life easy. Let's get into it. First up, it's gonna be nice and simple, it's just almonds. I'm a big fan of almonds, and the reason I love them is they're really dense and healthy fats, alongside being really dense and healthy proteins. So this is a huge benefit here, and it's really gonna help even more because science has shown it can help curb your hunger. It usually takes about an hour to kick in, but that's a huge benefit, a huge plus. And they're a great little snack, you can munch on them, whatever. They can add up, so make sure you control it and kind of measure out your portions beforehand, because if you start digging, the calories will add up. These are huge, and they're really beneficial on a cut or a bulk, and once again, it's a great source of fat, so I really recommend almonds. Number two, I'm not big on this myself. I don't know if I'm that tough. Uh, Kyle said he would do it. Let us comment down below whether you would do it or not. I know a lot of my clients are big on it, so you can get a cricket powder. This stuff's crazy. So for two and a half tablespoons, you're gonna get 13 grams of protein, two uh, carbs, 3.5 fat, and 90 calories. So it's literally ground up crickets, which uh, might not be everyone's favorite thing to hear, or uh, not something that would be appetizing to them. But if you can do it, this is amazing macros. You can sprinkle this on, even like your meats or something like that, and you are really gonna get some quick protein. And then protein has been shown to have great satiety as well. It does a fantastic job with that, and that just will make life easier. And number three, this is one of my absolute personal favorites. We have quinoa, and there's so many benefits to quinoa, and I'm gonna list off a couple of them. Number one, it's a great low glycemic carb, which is great for those who are looking to control their blood sugar levels. On top of that, it's high in protein, it's high in fiber, it's super nutritious, and it's actually, with the same serving size, 40 calories less compared to rice. So if you guys haven't added quinoa into your diet, try it out. Next up guys, egg whites. Now this one is pretty basic. Everyone has it in their diet, but there's a good reason. It's just ridiculously high in protein, and there's so many different things you can do with it. You can just simply have one egg mixed with this, and it's just so, so low in calories, and it's just protein, which obviously has so many benefits to dieting. On top of that, there's many different bonuses in terms of just being high in omega-3s, high in vitamin Ds. It's super good for you, and it just kind of gives you that full feeling that you need to succeed within a diet. It already brings us to number five. We're powering through this. Hopefully you're Join this. Uh, before I give you number five, comment down below um, your favorite food that helps you succeed in a diet. I know everyone has their own particular favorite. We'll get to my own and Kyle's later in the video, but I'd love to hear from everyone here. So comment down below, it means the world. I like the discussion, it gives us more inspiration for more videos like this. So jump into number five, we've got Greek yogurt. This is huge for me. So this is made by actually kind of straining normal milk, normal yogurt to kind of get to this texture. And that's gonna make it really high in protein, take out some of the carbs, take out some of the fat, and it will remove a lot of the lactose as well, which is a huge benefit for me because I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm able to still enjoy this and have that creamy, nice textured taste, which kind of tricks your body into feeling fuller. When you're eating these nice scoops, and sometimes they'll put in, like, this one's infused with vanilla, it'll up the calories ever so slightly, but each one of these packets, it's only 100 calories, and this is a huge tool I use as a fun little snack in my diet. You can always add, like, some hemp heart, some flax, or if you're crazy, some cricket. Action. Alrighty, so next up we've got soup. This is number six, and soup is fantastic because it's definitely nutrient dense, and for this thing, it's only like 200 calories, and it is gonna fill you up, so it's gonna be very hard to overeat on soup. There's usually a lot of nutrients. You're gonna wanna avoid those creamier soups, so make sure to stay away from that, but it's gonna kinda warm your stomach and just leave you feeling full on less calories. And number seven, this is the one you've probably all been waiting for. We have avocados, and this is just so fantastic because it's a super healthy fat, which is gonna take your body longer to break down it's gonna really curve any hunger any cravings that you have and it's an insoluble fiber so there's so many different benefits on top of that it's actually very versatile it's like a creamy texture that you can use as a dip you can have it on its own and you can just put into smoothies so if I if you guys haven't tried avocados give it a try alrighty and number eight this is kind of a weird one but mine is actually cucumber not because it tastes great because because I think it's such a great hack that everyone should utilize your body when you're dieting really wants you to grab for those 
heavy, high calorie foods that are gonna mess up your diet. You're in starvation mode. So what you've gotta do is find those foods that really satisfy you. So basically when I was getting ready for a physique show a couple years ago, every night I'd come home super hungry. You know, this, uh, have 30 to 50 calories left and I would just munch on a freaking com uh, cucumber, not a computer. And it just fills you up, it gives you that satisfaction. You can add a little bit of salt to it. And the goal here is to find foods that really fill you up like asparagus, broccoli, um, any really, uh, any type of vegetable will help you reach those goals. So try this out and you guys will not regret it. Number nine, this is my second personal favorite. Number 10 is my all time, but I love minced turkey. I've been cooking with this a ton. If you need real easy calories, it's like over 100 grams protein for this whole thing, about 700 calories. I pick it up for about $3.50, $4. I throw it in with a ton of sauteed onion, a little bit of green pepper, and I just mix it up, throw some red hot, and then I'll, sometimes I'll have like a lettuce wrap to make a little taco out of it. And it's just absolutely delicious. It's amazing calories, it's really hearty. Turkey isn't as lean as chicken, so it still has some succulents and some taste to it. Um, chicken get really old. I couldn't eat a bowl of chicken. A bowl of turkey, I really enjoy. The flavor's nice, and minced turkey is such an easy way to cook and just get moving, get that protein in. Definitely utilize this, whether you're cutting or bulking, this is huge. All right, we kept this to the end of the video because I say this every food video ever, but there's a reason. I love, love, love oatmeal. Uh, once again, it warms your stomach. It kind of saturates with water. It's just so hearty for the calories that it is. It's absolutely incredible, and it's so diverse. You can go like super hearty and healthy with the super grains, get oats, barley, rye, flax, quinoa, all these good things in here. Um, but for me, even when I'm dieting, I really like these dino eggs. I think they're made for kids, uh, but they do the job for me, right? So they're these little eggs, and as they warm up, they turn into these little dinosaurs, and it releases the sugary brown sugar all over the place. And it's only uh, 12 grams of sugar per packet, so I'll have two packs of that in the morning, and it really just brightens up my day. I'll do two scoops of this, some peanut butter, some protein. It's a really nice, well-rounded meal. Um, some quick glycogen, I'll have it right before I go to the gym. It gets me pumped up. It really contributes to my pumps, and it's a lot of fun. It's something I look forward to every day, and it makes dieting suck a lot less. So I'm a big fan of oatmeal. Definitely get in the game if you haven't. It's so hearty, and it's really easy. Last but not least guys, if you're not seeing the results you want to get, just hire us. Honestly, this is the best way to get you to see the results that you're striving for. So click that first link in the description below. It's a form to kind of fill out, get a little bit more information about you guys and we'll see, you know, any of you guys that are serious that we feel like we can truly help out. We'll take you guys on as clients and until next time guys, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.